Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. We have one right now from the High Water Brewing Company. Their campfire stout leaves you wanting s'more. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, this one is brought to me by the great average or above average or extra above average Joe. Fuck you, Joe. It's a, uh, so really thank you for, uh, for giving me this beer. He dropped it off when he was here for a little uh, stint of drunkenness. And uh, this is apparently a campfire stout that is reminiscent of a s'more, which is beautiful. Let's give it a go. Actually, I saw Johnny and his newly married wife uh, review this, so go check out Johnny's channel because I'm sure he's going to do a much better review than we two hacks will ever do. Right? I guess so. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Who gives a shit? We'll try to swear a little bit more and maybe even flash some tits because I got some great ones. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Okay, let's get into this. Let's stop lollygagging. You just say wallygagging? Wallygagging uh, with an L. <laughs> I said wallygagging. Wally, wa, 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 wa. All right. We, we're not rinsing today because it's one of those non rinse fuck you days. It was an Imperial Stout we just drank, so let's put this one in here and well, let's just fill it up with foam. That was probably a good idea. Just fill it up with foam. How about we tip the glass you want? Beautiful. I think that would be a much better idea. There we go. Okay. Here we are. Mine is full of foam, so let Christina do the talking. What? What do you got for a aroma? I don't know, actually. Ooh, that's not good. I got caramel. Also known as caramel. Shut up. Gotcha. And it's a crick, so. It's a creek. Whatever. Sorry. See, ours is much worse. I guess I get like the graham cracker. I can't smell anything in his head because uh, unlike some people, the bigger the head, the less aroma you actually get. So don't ever pour it down the middle like a Neanderthal. Oh, oh I'm trolling. Oh, sorry. I think that's Joe coming out of this beer and making me troll people. <laughs> All of his energy. His energy. His trollish energy. Let me blow it out. I'm going to blow out the devil of Joe through my nose. No, I think it made it worse. I want to see coming up short hair. Okay. Well. Do you want to sniff mine? I'm going to sniff your hole. <laughs> sniff my sniffer. Yeah, I'm going to sniff your sniffer. I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing coming off this. I mean, it, maybe I get some sweetness. Maybe I get kind of a graham It smells thing. like a brown ale. It smells like soft caramel, a little bit of toast. That's it. Yeah. Wow, I thought this would be huge with the aroma. It just smells like a brown ale. I know I'm blowing my nose here, but I got nothing. I'm not getting anything either. Well, let's get into it. Let's die. I, I wouldn't say it's a brown ale, but... Cheers. Yeah, I'm just... I do get like a roasted marshmallow, like the burnt marshmallow taste. Yeah. That, that kind of soft sweetness, confectionery sugar sweetness. Yeah. Toasted, a little toasted. It does taste like a burnt marshmallow. It's thin. <laughs> a little bit thin. It's a bit thin. It's a bit thin. It's a bit thin. It's a bit thin. But I mean, overall, the flavors are really mute. Yum. This isn't a bad temperature to serve this either. No, I'm almost saying it. The, the main thing that I'm getting is just burnt marshmallow. Yep, a little toasted grain, slight char with that toasted marshmallow. Um, that's it. Quite a subdued stout. Not pulling the flavors I was hoping to pull. No crack graham cracker. Nope. Well, let's 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 give this one. We got four minutes. So let's give it a little bit of a go. Let's get try to. Yeah, maybe it needs to get warmed up. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not cold. This beer isn't really cold beer, so <laughs> let's see if we can we can put it in the microwave. There we go. Boil it. I was actually wondering about that. I'm like, wonder what how the beer tastes if you put it in the microwave. Yeah. Put the make it, let's and make your some... friends are all going, idiot. Yeah, don't worry, they say that about me all the time. <laughs> yep. Don't worry. Next time I'm at the rhinos, I'm gonna pick a very I'm gonna pick a glass that you won't get in the mail in a box to break, okay? Well that'll be worth that'd be good. Oh. Yeah. Well, I broke a glass at the Rhinos by accident. It was a dark room, and uh, 
He's given me shit ever since, but like three days after I left, he got a box of those glasses in the mail. <laughs> what the fuck? So now I'm going to pick the glass that you he do. won't get a box of to smash. <laughs> there you go. Take that, bitch. Yeah, I guess we didn't think about getting that bottle warmed up. It's warm enough. Yeah. It's serving him. Uh, and soft caramel. Well, nice smooth body though. I mean, it is a bit thin, but it's smooth. There is sweet caramels going on. There's that marshmallow. I'm getting that. I'm getting the marshmallow. The Absolutely. Marshmallow. I mean, I'm told, I'm talking about like a black marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. But you're not getting s'mores. You're getting a marshmallow stout. Yeah. So, overall though, it's a good beer. I'm going to rate it a little lower than I thought I would initially. I'm going to rate it a 7.5. I was going to give it a 7. Okay. Yep. Because it's just, it's not delivering what it's promising. It's a good beer. But because of that, I was going to move, I'm moving it from an 8 because it is a good beer down to like that 7.5 solid range. Um, I was just giving a full seven. Full seven for you because it's not delivering. I, it's not delivering what it's promised. I don't believe in giving scores and half points. Really. Half. You're you're all or nothing. Yep. Yep. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. She rates me a four because she doesn't give half inches. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't do it. So. Oh, that's your male insecurity talk. Yeah. Okay. Talk back. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> That, that, that's me and Christina from yes. PA Brews. We're gonna, I'm going to give it a 7.5. She's going for a 7, seven. so 7.25 rounded up. That's not a bad score. It's still above average. Definitely above average brew. I'd drink this again. Yeah, I mean, it's if, if the price is, I mean, if, the pri if this was like three ninety nine or four ninety nine or five ninety nine a bottle, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd grab one of these and slam it down. It's good beer. Uh, especially Campfire Stout. Have a nice buddy with Campfire. Also, because, like, I'm wondering if it's because we just reviewed like a totally awesome beer like that bottle imp yeah just kind of kicked the shit out of it yeah yeah <laughs> kind of no, made but her I, can, I can a still little. taste it i can still taste the beer and it's just not tasting the way it should yeah yeah well here we have it folks let's do a little close-up yeah. and, and definitely go over to crafty beer reviews and check out johnny g and uh Hear what he has to say, so it might be a slightly different uh, from us. Then, you know, make up your own decision because it's your own face. I have a feeling, though, that if this were to warm up, because it is a bit chilly, but if it were to warm up a bit more, a it, bit more. it would actually, we would probably get some more. Well, if it does, we'll definitely uh, do a little update on the end of this video, so that's not a problem. But remember, you were born with your tongue in your face, and you know what you can taste and what you can't. This has been Paul and Christina mm -hmm. from PA Brew News. Cheers. <laughs>